Another team who may be grasping at straws, though. Carson Wentz and the Colts. Uh, so, I believe more or less the quote was uh, Frank Reich when asked about Carson Wentz becoming uh, being the starter next year. He didn't say yes. He didn't say no. He kind of danced around the issue. But I think you had a quote from last year when Reich was asked the same question about Philip Rivers. What what did he say then? Right. So this was after the Colts lost in the playoffs to the Buffalo Bills. Uh, Frank Reich was asked, hey, do you want uh, Philip Rivers to be back as your starting quarterback? And, and quoting Frank Reich directly, he says, look, as I sit here right now, yes, I want Philip Rivers to be my starting quarterback next year. He was right up front, right out with it. Hey, I want Philip Rivers back. Obviously, Rivers retired and they traded and brought Wentz into the fold. As you mentioned, he was not nearly as you know bold and uh, declarative when it came to getting Carson Wentz back. Yeah, very non-committal, uh, dance around the issue, so to speak. Uh, and it's it's something that you see so, some so some doubt into your thought. Uh, and if you're Carson Wentz, you got to think, okay, what's the issue? Well, I think we know what the issue is. Wentz has been hot and cold all season. And in the most important game of the year, a win and in playoff uh, for the game for the playoffs, uh, Wentz threw up the biggest stinker of a performance that you could possibly do. In the QBR realm, 100 QBR is fantastic. A 50 is average. But in the most crucial game of the season, Carson Wentz put up a 4.4 QBR, which is probably about as bad as it could possibly be. I mean, uh, yeah. what do you think about against that? Against the Jaguars. Yeah, against like the, the one, worst team in the NFL. Yeah, one of the worst teams in the NFL. Number one overall pick, Jacksonville Jaguars. Like, it's, it was so bad. And it, it's one of those moments where if, if, if you have like an undrafted rookie who's never played before and you kind of just shove him into the game, you kind of like, all right, he can't possibly get a four QBR. Cause I think if you like run for 30 yards and complete a few passes and don't turn it over, like that's like a 10, like Carson wins is up a number two overall pick. You know, they traded a first round draft pick to get him out of Philly and, and more actually, I think first and a third and uh, they, and they uh, get him in the building. He's supposed to, you know, be their quarterback of the future. And he goes out and absolute stinker, you know, has a four quarterback rating. And, it, and it's not even that good because he threw a late touchdown when the game was out of reach already. Yeah, well, and so, on top of that, this is a quarterback coach combo who in Philadelphia was able to make a super hot playoff run that in, uh, Wentz ended up getting hurt, but was finished out for a Super Bowl victory. Like, how do you go from that being that clutch and that good to going now to you can't even win a game to get into the playoffs? You know, it's it's one of the craziest choke jobs I think we've seen in the NFL in a long time. Now, now listen, I've I've being a Cowboys fan and living through the Romo years, I've lived through a number of choke chops. I know what it's like to have a quarterback have a bad game when you really need them to have a big game to get into the playoffs. It happens. I get it, right? The fump, Romo's famous fumbled snap, the interceptions. But I've never seen a team play a terrible team. I think the Colts were like 18 or 19 point favorites. Yeah, that's crazy. And, and then like get like just destroyed. Embarrassed. It, it was it was so bizarre. It was I I've never seen it happen before in my life. Like the Colts, everyone's saying no one wants to play the Colts in the playoffs this year. Well, everyone got their wish because the Colts aren't going to the playoffs this year. It, it's as a Colts fan, anyone who's a Colts fan has just got to be absolutely crushed in, in that organization. It's just, it's just gut wrenching. I mean, I, I, I also don't know what you do. It's hard to come back as a team to have your quarterback play that bad in a game you were supposed to win easily and lost by a lot. That's, that's tough to come back from. I mean, I, I, I kept trying to think of comparisons like, well, when has this happened before, you know, that I can kind of look back on? I couldn't think of anything. No, no. But, and, and this is like you said, this, it makes you wonder. Reich is a good coach, in my opinion. I think he's a, he's a pretty good coach. And Wentz, the performance that Wentz put out seems to be the problem here. I don't foresee them sticking with Wentz. I think, I think they try to, you know, 
get some competition in that QB room and move on for them if they have anyone who's somewhat serviceable because he doesn't seem like the same kind of player he was after his injury. No, not even close. Uh, it, it's, this is really bad. And it's, it's, it's kind of ironic the way Frank Reich is basically treating Carson Wentz like a redheaded stepchild right now. Cause it's, it's deserved in more ways than one. Yeah. And, but 